because these the brothers that's outside, that's on the pavement, where you can reach out and touch them. These are not internet fucking Hebrew Israelites, okay? Like a lot of these clowns. They are internet Hebrew Israelites, that's it. They are not in the highways and the byways, as the Most High tells you to be in the goddamn highways and the byways and raise your damn voice like a trumpet to reach the masses of our people. And y'all niggas are not doing that. You are internet fake ass Hebrew Israelites. And that's why I always make my distinction. I always say not all. This is in the book of Joel, chapter 2, and verse 27. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel, and that I am the Lord your God, and none else. Say the Lord. Our God and none else. The Lord, our God, and nobody else. All right. Now, somebody give me Leviticus chapter 20. Because we see these two gentlemen, they walk around the park holding hands. And nobody correcting these dudes, man. They going off. God is against homosexuality. Anybody that's a homosexual, the Lord going to kill them. That's right. Him. Read that. Leviticus chapter 20 and verse 13. Right, read that. If a man also lay with my mankind. If a man also lay, lie with my mankind. If two men having sex together, laying in the bed together, the receiver and the giver. Go ahead. As he live with a woman. If a man go to bed, live with another man like he lying with a woman, go ahead. Both of them have committed an abomination. Both of them committed an abomination, read. They shall surely be put to death. What the Lord said? They shall so surely, surely be, be put, put to, to death. death. If you're a homosexual, you're going to be what? They, they shall, shall surely be, be put, put to, to death. death. That's what the Bible says. That's right. If you're a homosexual and you two gay men or two gay women, the Lord said you're going to get put to death. He ain't gonna come down and kill you. He's gonna give you AIDS. He's gonna give you all kind of disease. He's gonna die. God is against homosexuality, man. That's right. And people are like, they scared to say it. People are like, it's a damn secret that you can't say God is against homosexuality, man. That's what goes on in society today. Nobody believe in the Bible, man. Nobody believe what the Lord say. Everybody believe what they want to think is right. Just like that brother. He came up here. Well, dude, I don't want to hear your thoughts. I want to hear what the Lord say. That's right. The Lord say, if you are homosexual, you're going to die. Right? Read that real quick. This is the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 6 and verse 9. Read. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Unrighteous people ain't getting the kingdom of God. Read. Be not deceived. Don't be deceived, because our people deceive. They let them two men just walk by and nobody correcting them, man. Read. Neither fornicators. Not a fornicator. You can't be a fornicator. You're not getting the kingdom. Go ahead. Nor idolaters. You can't be an idolater. Putting a damn picture of Spider-Man up there, then how Spider-Man come to a birthday party, and you saying that's not idolatry. Bro. Bring it out. Oh, no. That's right. That's idolatry, man. Right? Go ahead. Nor adulterers. No adulterers in the kingdom of heaven. And a man sleeping with another man. Nor effeminate. No effeminate man in the kingdom of heaven. That guy that want to get his fingernails painted, put on a little bit of lip gloss. Puerto Ricans going out there shaving their eyebrows. That's effeminate. That's right. If you shave your damn eyebrows, you're a damn effeminate man. That's being effeminate. Only women do that. Men don't want to be shaving their damn eyebrows, putting on lip gloss. Putting on no damn clear lit up fingernail damn pop. Right, go ahead. Nor abusers of themselves with mankind. Ain't no homosexual getting the kingdom of heaven. That's right. If you abuse yourself with other men, you're not getting it, right? Go ahead. Nor thieves. No thieves getting the kingdom of heaven. Nor covetous. If you covetous, you're not getting the kingdom. Go ahead. Nor drunkards. If you drinking and you getting drunk, you're not getting the kingdom. Go ahead. Nor revilers, uh -huh. nor extortioners. You extortion the people for their money, you not get the kingdom. Go ahead. Shall inherit the kingdom of God. Right, if you being all out wicked, you not getting the kingdom of God. You not getting the kingdom of God. You gotta be a righteous. Somebody give me Deuteronomy chapter 6 and verse 25. 
You gotta be a righteous man to get the kingdom of heaven, man. You can't be a wicked man. Read Deut it. Deuteronomy chapter 6 and verse 25. Read. And it shall be our righteousness. It should be our what? Our righteousness. It should be our righteousness. Go ahead. If we observe to do all these commandments. You got to keep the commandments to be a righteous man. Go ahead. Before the Lord our God. Uh -huh. As he have commanded us. Right. The Lord commanded you. He didn't ask you. He didn't say, could you please do it? He didn't say, do me a favor and do this. He commanded you to do it. That's right. If the Lord commanded you to do it, that means you ain't got no damn option. Either you do it or you get put, or you're going to die. Right on. You got any questions now? We answer. You can think of anything in your mind, whatever. We ask all questions. We don't run from the Bible. We run to it. That's right. Christian to run from it. You ask a Christian something, they're but they doing that stutter. Everybody try to make an excuse for their seat. Bring it out. I like we were telling that dude, man. You can't be out here celebrating birthdays, man. That's against the Bible. That's right. Either you do it or you don't do it, bro. That's against the Bible. He was defensive like the devil. Yeah, he was defensive about everything. Oh, so you so you saying this? You saying hell yeah, I'm saying that. Yeah, you can't celebrate Thanksgiving, man. You celebrate Thanksgiving. Well, you be just eating the food. Nah, you uh, can't just eat no. the food. Nah, you can't uh, partake in it anyway. Just like they like, look. Just say like if you going out and the guy say, look, I'm finna go murder this guy, but you ain't gotta do the shooting. Just ride in the back seat. Ride with me. I go out, boop, 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 go shoot that guy, jump in the car, he in the back, the party pull us over. If he going to if he going to jail with me. Everybody in the yeah. damn car going to jail. You're accessory to the crime. Yeah. Huh? You're accessory to murder, brother. Huh? you going to jail. So if you go to the Thanksgiving party, you're an accessory to Thanksgiving, even if you didn't pull the damn trick. That's right. Even if you didn't make the plate, you're accessory. Because you're <laughs> best. Bring it out, all right. So this stuff Christian be saying, don't even make the, no um, the they, they Read that again. Read it, read it, read it, read it. Leviticus. Leviticus. Read that again. Read that again. Thirteen. Leviticus chapter twenty and verse thirteen. Read, man. Come on, brother. Come on. Leviticus chapter twenty and verse thirteen. All right, listen up. If a man also lie with mankind. If two men are homosexual, go ahead. As he lies with a woman. If you lie with a man like you're supposed to lie with a woman, go ahead. Both of them have committed an abomination. What's going to happen to them? They shall surely be put to death. What the Lord say? They, they shall, shall surely, surely be, be put, put to, to death. death. If you're a homosexual, you're going to get put to death. That's right. That's what the Bible say. If you hold your hands with another man, you're going to get put to death. But nobody out here want to correct the wickedness of our people. But we ain't going to stand around and not say nothing. That's right. You hold your hands with another man, we're going to call you out. Wicked. We're calling you out. We, and we ain't going to just walk around and just let that fly. And everybody else, they forgot the morals of the Lord. They forgot the morals of the Bible. Everybody else just let that wicked stuff go out. But the men of the Lord, the righteous men, we ain't gonna let that go out. If you going off and you wicked, we're gonna call your wickedness out in front of everybody. That's right. Right? And the Bible tell you that too. He said, rebuke before all. Give me that scripture where the Lord said, rebuke before all. Did the Lord say, rebuke in silence and be quiet? La -uh. If you doing something, the Lord say, rebuke them people before everybody, man. That's right. We're gonna uh -huh. rebuke your damn wickedness in front of the world, man. Like, 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 you know, like these people just accept it like it's normal. We ain't accepting the damn norm. That's right. Because y'all ain't going to be in the kingdom of, hand, kingdom of heaven holding hands. Y'all be in the kingdom of heaven, y'all going to get put to death. Bring it out, all. This is the book of First Timothy, chapter 5 and verse 20. Read that. Them that sin. Them that is in sin, do what? Rebuke before all. Do what? Rebuke before all. We're going to rebuke them dudes in front of everybody. That's right. We ain't going to he ain't gonna hold it no secret. We ain't going to be whispering, hey, look at them two gay guys. Hey, look at that homosexual, man. They holding hands. We're going to 
rebuke your ass in front of everybody. That's right. Thus says the Lord. Everybody's scared. They scared when real men come out and teach the Bible. That's right. They're like, uh, hey, brother, y'all be kind of talking kind of rough. This dude keep looking at me hard. <laughs> yeah, dude, we're going to look at your ass hard. We're going to rebuke your ass. That's right. We ain't going to be no little soft Negro. We ain't them little soft pastors in your damn Christian church. We ain't your soft pastor that put on that damn suit and bow tie and, and dust his suit off and go up to there with his nice little suit on with his uh, gators on and, and open up the Bible. We ain't that dude. That's right. We the dude that's going to come out here and tell y'all when y'all going off. We the righteous men of the Lord. Back then in Israel, if you were walking around holding hands, they would put your ass to death. Bring it out, dog. On the You'll spot. get killed. On Somebody the spot. give me there's gonna be no sodomite in the in the, in the Israel. Do the run. There shall be no sodomite in the Israel, man. Ain't gonna be no homosexuality in the kingdom of heaven. And if you sit there and you accept it and you don't say nothing, you're gonna get put to death too. Give me Ezekiel. <laughs> if you don't say nothing, the most high gonna charge you. I think it's uh 3 and 15. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 23, and verse 17. Read that. There shall no whore of the daughters of Israel. There shall be no whore of the daughters of Israel. Right, go ahead. Nor a sodomite of the sons of Israel. Right, there's going to be no homosexuality, man, in the kingdom of heaven. You ain't gonna have no homosexuals, ain't gonna be there. You know what the homosexuals do? They try to make their own Bible. They try to make a Bible, with a, a little, a, a white Bible with a damn a, a, a rainbow on it. And say homosexuals gonna be in the kingdom of heaven. The Lord say ain't gonna be no damn homosexual in the kingdom of heaven. If it's gonna be homosexuals in the kingdom of heaven, prove it to me. Right, brother? You speak English? Habla Espanol. Espanol? English? Yes, Is it going to be any homosexuals in the kingdom of heaven? Is it going to be two men holding hands in the kingdom of heaven? Or hugging and kissing? See that? He, he don't even want to say nothing. 